guys, welcome, welcome. All right, so today we're in a rental and we just want to show you how awesome it was. Okay, not really. It's like Big Bird. It's kind of embarrassing. We get to drive this like bright yellow truck. Like, check it out. Isn't it fabulous? Not really. Okay, so yeah, our truck's in the shop, which reminds me, look, here's our set. Reminds me, doo, 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 two trailers. Look at that. Hold on, there's somebody back here hiding. Let me show you. Somebody hiding back here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Not really. Big Bird. <laughs> yeah, Big Bird. You gotta love it. Elmo's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> All right, but it reminds me that we did do a truck review and by mistake, somehow I deleted the video and you guys never got the footage. So we're gonna give you a review of the review since I deleted the video. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna climb inside where it's a little bit warmer and give you a review. All right, guys, so we're in the inside of Big Bird. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! All right, so we don't know the model number, but it is a 2016 Volvo and it is an automatic, which you know how we feel about automatics. Not a big fan of them. But we actually do kind of like the eye shift. It is much better than the Freightliner, would you agree? Definitely better than, than the Detroit version of the automatic. Much, much, much smoother. And the first thing we noticed right off as soon as we went to go hook our set was that when you were backing up, it was so, so much smoother. And I'm kind of giggling because even though we're both really experienced, we really don't have experience with automatics, which is another reason we don't like them. And another reason we don't like them is because every time we go to hook our set and we're backing out of the trailer, we have bad experience. Whiplash! <laughs> yeah. So what it's referring to is we slam into the trailer and give ourselves whiplash. Like, it hurts like crap. I mean, I've been sleeping, <laughs> he's been sleeping, and we just slam into it. And then we're yelling, sorry, I'm trying to hook. So, but the reason it happens, why does it happen? Um, because you have to build up more RPMs for the, the Detroit transmission to actually engage, where this one, you don't have to have as much IPM, like it's got a lower stall, I guess you would call it. And it's just a lot easier to hook with. Yeah, so it allows it to engage going reverse. So it's going slower, whereas the Freightliner, it's like all or nothing. And for those of you that have driven the Freightliners are going to understand what I'm talking about. Um, I do recommend the Volvo iShift over that now that I have experience driving it. Um, like he said, it's just so, so much smoother when you're trying to hook a set, you're not slamming into the trailers and you have a lot more control over it because there's not that hesitation like he was talking about building up the RPM to allow it to gauge whether it's reverse or forward. This just engages so much quicker. And another thing that we found out um, about the iShip was that it has an extra little feature versus the, the Freightliner. You want to go ahead and tell us about that? So if you push the pedal all the way down like giving it throttle, you think you're all the way to the floor, but if you push just a little bit harder, it actually kicks it into a passing gear. And that's also nice if you're taking on the off on the to get on the interstate. Um, if you hold it all the way to the floor, past that first click, then it will hold your shifts longer, and you can get up to speed faster to get on the highway safe. Yeah, and it's also really really good for when you're doing a hill climb. Uh, we have some pretty big hills. Uh, if any of you have driven through Wheeling on uh, 70, you know there's a pretty big hill climb through there. And um, it's definitely helpful that you can then downshift quicker than what the automatic would do it. So it gives you more pulling power. So uh, it helps you get up the hill a little bit faster with a little bit more power. So that's kind of what we've learned about it. But any other thing you can think about for an automatic? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely the best automatic that we've given so far. Yeah, so I'm going to show you around. Okay, we're just in this in a day, for a day, so we have our stuff thrown everywhere, but you can kind of see, you got your cabinet here with uh, the desk system. This is just another cabinet down here, and then, you know, you got your bunk system, top and bottom. Don't forget Trucker Dog Lily, she's actually sleeping. 
There's another cabinet up here, the cabinet. And then this has these little uh, compartments down here. And normally there would be like a piece of cloth that's thrown across here to keep everything in there. We just have our toast thrown in there. And then there's a bottom compartment down there. There's also storage underneath the bed down there. We just have the cooler sitting in the middle of the floor because there's no fridge. And then the front has the shelf that runs around um, and then the mesh compartment. So it's pretty basic, pretty stock, nothing super fancy, but you know, that's okay. Um, I definitely don't see where there would be a room where you can put a fridge in this one. As it stands right now, you probably could put a fridge. I don't even know where you'd really put a microwave. There's no straps um, or anything like that. So um, it's really just more like jump seat, I would think. Um, but anyways, guys, that's our review. Anything else you can think of? Uh, yeah, it's just a lot smaller of a sleeper. It, the bed is smaller. Yeah, definitely smaller. All right, guys, so that's a review on the 2016 Volvo Automatic with the eye shift. And oh, one thing we forgot. It's down here, guys. It's not up on the steering column. It's down there. So me, I'm short. Literally, the eye shift handle is almost touching the cup holders when I was driving. So there was no trying to get out of the seat without moving the seat because my leg couldn't even get by. But that was the only thing. It's a little bit in the awkward, inconvenient place, but I mean, I guess that's where they thought was the best position. But you can see this one has been damaged because it is in an awkward spot. But that's our review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Any questions, any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the latest videos and just find out what we are up to, what we're going doing for our adventures. Until then, drive safe, stay safe, and we'll see ya. Bye! Give me my dreams.